Hey, it's Jason Coleman, mortgage broker with Price Mortgage. Today I was asked if I would explain how interest rates work. So there's two different ways that it kind of uh, affects interest rates, and that is who's buying bonds and treasuries. Uh, the 10-year treasury is a good gauge that's directly tied to the 15-year fix on whether it's going up or down. So if you see the 10-year treasury, which is TNX on your Yahoo Finance ticker, so if you're looking at stock symbols, you know, um, say you're looking at Chevron or, or, or whatever, or uh, Amazon, and, and you type in the ticker symbol, a TNX is the 10-year treasury. So let's say uh, the 10-year treasury goes up 0.1%. Well, that means interest rates have gone up. And if it, say it goes from 3% down to 28 that means interest rates have gone down. So what affects the interest rate? Well, an interest rate has a yield on it. And that means every lender, whether you're retail, a chase, a broker, they all have to have a fixed compensation plan for that yield. So let's say it's 2% uh, for every customer, you know, with that line of credit or with that bank or with that wholesale, right? So 3% is paying two points. That means if you have a $400,000 loan, it's paying $8,000 to the originating company. So if you go for a lower rate, let's say you go from 3% to 2.75, and that only pays 1%, then the originator, the bank, the retailer, whatever you call it, the loan officer, has to charge 1% points, okay? So some, some banks uh, don't do what's called borrower paid compensation, so if, the, if you want a par rate that pays nothing, then the originator can do borrower paid compensation and charge you one or two points origination fee or origination fee. But that doesn't mean it's a point, it's an origination fee if it's borrower paid compensation. If you go below the par rate, say it costs, uh, we went from three down to 2.75, now we're down to 2.5, and I know these rates aren't available, I'm just using an example. Uh, so it costs one point at 2.5 versus at 2.7 it costs nothing versus at 3% it, it paid the 2% yield spread. Uh, but we go from yield spread to borrower paid and then they're gonna charge you an origination fee. Now, you have to talk to your, talk to your tax consultant. These points are deductible from your taxes. And the origination and underwriting, that over a period of time is uh, deductible. You have to talk to your tax professional. I am not a tax professional. Uh, so back to the yield spread of the rate. So 2.5 cost a point. So therefore you have to pay a discount point plus you'd have to pay the origination fee of the originator of the loan, whether retailer or broker or whatever. So it also works the opposite way where 3% paid the two. So let's go to three and a quarter now and that's going to pay 3% well, now you get 1% of that yield towards your closing costs. And the way that it goes up and down and what decides that original yield is the 10-year treasury and who's buying and who's selling bonds and, and what the yield on that bond is. So I hope that was helpful as far as how loan officers get compensated, banks get compensated, and how rates go up and down. It is uh, buying and selling of bonds and treasuries and uh, compensation, fixed compensation of the originators of the loan. Nobody works for free, so that's where there's negotiation comes in, that's where there's just no negotiation, and that's what the rate is, and uh, why it would fluctuate from bank to bank. If you have any questions, give me a call, 602-451-5472. Thanks for tuning in.